So anytime that I'm doing any, uh, you know, trying to repeat parts plasma cutting, I make templates out of quarter inch particle board. Uh, it's really cheap and it's really easy to do. You can just cut it out with a jigsaw, sand it a little bit, and that gives you a lot of repeatability. So, you know, some of my other projects, backhoe buckets and what have you, uh, pieces of my wood stoves. So again, that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, so I've made a template already out of uh, the quarter inch. This is going to be my flighting. So you do have to make this circle bigger than the tube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it and I'm going to pull them. So that's going to give me that corkscrew effect. I'll show you once I cut some of them how that's going to turn out. Uh, so the way I calculated my flighting is I took the, um, the pot itself here and I determined, uh, I just measured the outside of the pod. It was about eight and three quarter inches uh, outside diameter of the pod. And I knew I wanted about uh, eight inches of uh, run on each flight as it goes around of the pod. So basically I just used trigonometry for that uh, approximately 12 inches here. So that is going to give me the inner diameter for my template. So my inner circle is 12. And then I just decide on how thick I want the flighting to be. And that's how I made my template. So it's, you know, it, once you slice this, the piece is going to go around this side and then back around the other side. And that's going to give you your, your flighting. Uh, hoping that's going to work for me, but that's how I made that template and decided on the size of it compared to the piece of pipe. I do have one ring cut out here, uh, so I can put that, put that slice into it there. So that's going to be one of my flights, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this ring open, as you can see. Obviously I'm going to bend a lot more than that, I don't want to do it until it's on the pod, but that's what's going to give me my screws. I'm just going to keep opening them like that, and then attaching the next one to it, and keep going with it. So hopefully I can do that. This is 3 16 plate steel I'm using here. I think that's about the thickest I'm going to be able to bend with the tools I have, so we'll see how that goes. On the pods themselves, I've marked out uh, eight. Uh, first of all, I put a line quarterly, so I divided it into four quarters. And then I marked out my eight inch segments all the way along, staggered it up another four inches. So you can see here basically how my screw is gonna go along. I'm gonna make sure that each time I tack that loop on there, it's gonna hit one of these marks as I go. And you can see Kind of as I go along here, that's basically going to give me my uh, helical pattern, hopefully. I'm sure bending these and putting these on is going to be uh, a real pain, but uh, we'll give it a shot here. This is, gives you an idea of the ring size compared to the uh, tubing, so I'm going to have to contort and bend this somehow all around there. Uh, I did a lot of research on putting flighting on making your own and basically the general consensus on the internet is don't do it. So uh, this is the best concept I came up with uh, and uh, hopefully it works out for me. This basically has to work. So Here's the screw starting to take shape here. I tacked one corner on and then I put this brace to hold the flight uh, square there and I'm just using crescent wrenches and kind of going along trying to work my way along to get it to line up with these marks. Uh, basically so far it's been pretty much horrifying and uh, this is going to take a really long time. I'd shoot video of me doing it but it's just too painful so once I get this few flights installed on here I'll give you a shot of what it's going to look like.
Well, there was absolutely nothing fun about that. But I have the uh, main part of my first pod done. So have a look. So somehow after all that calculating, it turned out that instead of being eight inches on my spacing, it was actually nine. I still can't figure out why. I guess just a small bit of, uh, you know, variance in anything adds up to quite a lot on the angle. So I spend plenty of time beating and cutting and heating and butchering this, but uh, all in all, it turns out pretty good. And uh, on the tips here, I'm still going to uh, kind of curl these in so I have some kind of, you know, if I catch an edge or something, it'll lift it up on top. But uh, there you go. That's uh, basically what the screws are going to look like. i got to finish welding them up, obviously. But uh, give you an idea of what's going on when I'm driving. That will be uh, what's propelling the machine forward. I think my next video will not be of making the other screw. It will probably be of uh, maybe starting to uh, fire this engine up and get some of the stuff moving here just to see how it's going to look and how fast it's going to spin. But uh, there you go. It can be done. You can put flighting on yourself, but it is pretty stupid. So I would not recommend it. But uh, one more to go.